the things you use as your litmus test of spiritual maturity is not what the immortals use to rate maturity because Satan came putting the word of God to the word of God it is written he believes devils also believe what differentiates us from them what separates us today you know that Lord I'm very sorry I'm very sorry I've, I've sinned again but you are in my heart I truly believe you Lord you know if only I can just come out of this one struggle this one struggle is the only struggle that if I can come out of this struggle as you are doing all of this your, your long talk is the same things demons are saying to you demons are saying we believe a demon accosted Jesus and said, Jesus, thou son of the living God, what have we to do with you for our time has not yet come. It's a demon that just hailed him as son of the living God, the demoniac of Gadara. So that Jesus is Lord that you like saying anytime your leg hits stone is not a sign of righteousness. Because even Satan said Jesus is son of God. So any verbal things you are saying, believe is not enough statue. The proof of your spirituality is obedience. Obedience. Don't measure anything if you don't find out that your life is aligning. You are yielding. Obedience is becoming a nature that you are adopting by the day. The proof of maturity in the spirit is obedience. It's not evil knowledge. It's not your ability to, to bring doctrinal exegesis. Those things don't hold water in the realm of immortality. The real things that stand is obedience. And so Jesus was going to diagnose a case, a Yahoo boy in the spirit. He discovered many Yahoo men in his time. And he was going to expose their treachery. Luke chapter 6 verse 46 quickly. Luke chapter 6. Everybody let's read together. One, two, go. Please, I need us to read this together. I want to show us something. One, two, go. Inside and outside. And why call ye me what? Lord, Lord. And do not the things which I say. This name, Lord, is for only people who can do. You, you, are, you, are, a, you are a 419. If you are saying Jesus is Lord and your life cannot do. He says, you don't, you don't do. You can say, my Savior you believe he's okay he says who are these strange category of yahoo boys who are calling me lord but they don't have the, the statue to do you are not a christian because you believe god you are a christian because you obey him obedience is better than sacrifice these things are sensitive matters we are already touching those, those delicate balances where the power of sin was built upon. All the areas where Satan thought if, if, he, if he can keep you in this level, he knows that when eventually you will be called to report in the shores of immortality that you will not be ready. All you will have is a verbal declaration. Jesus is Lord. But even devils too can say that. What differentiates you then? Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but you don't 